If you have never heard the most horrific sound in the world, you're about to. This is the stuff of nightmares. I apologize in advance for the trauma that I will now cause. Yeah, let's fix this. Thermal runaway error is usually caused by the printer not being able to properly regulate the heating during the printing process. It can happen with either the nozzle or the bed. Luckily for me, I was recording another video when I noticed that the nozzle temps were swaying wildly. A little bit over or under happens during the printing process, but this would drop from 200 down to the high 160s at times. So I had reason to believe that it was the thermistor near the nozzle that needed to be replaced. So these are the tools that I used for this repair. First, you have to remove the two Allen head screws holding the fans onto the heating element nozzle part. Okay, you move that aside and you'll see a wire bundle that is taped together with heat resistant tape. That's this yellow tape, this yellow film right here. You wanna carefully cut that apart so you can get access to the individual wires. You also want to cut one or two of the small zip ties holding the wire loom together so you can slip it back and have a little more slack to work with. Next step is to remove the screw holding the thermistor to the heating element. A small screwdriver is all you need. Try to do better than me and don't drop the screw behind the machine. Next, simply remove the thermistor from the bottom hole on the heating element. I've heard that sometimes there's dried plastic holding it inside and that it could break off when it's trying to be pulled out. Mine came straight out pretty easily. So be careful with this. Now the replacement kit I got is for splicing a new thermistor in. There's no need to pull out the entire wire assembly from the motherboard. I'll have a link in the description below for the exact one that I used in case you're interested. With this kit, you simply cut the old thermistor off. You cut the new one a little longer than the old piece, just to give me a little extra room to work with. Strip both ends off of the wires that you just cut to expose the wires. Use the supply joining sleeves to connect the wires. Then you just simply heat them up with a heat gun or a lighter and they melt and compress together, creating a splice. Careful with the flame on the lighter, too high and it can melt the joiner. Do not ask me how I know that. Once they are spliced, you just reverse the process and slip the thermistor back into the bottom hole and use the screw to secure it to the mount. Don't over tighten the screw here as it can twist or break off the thermistor and you have to redo the entire process. Then you just slide the fans back over to cover the heating element. Reattach the two Allen head screws, check for any loose wires, and then give it a test. I've been meaning to print this dog phone holder for a little bit, so I just decided to do it. Starting off well, no, no alarm. And after several hours, this is the end result. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for everybody. It is fairly simple to repair the thermistor. It's something that if I can do it, anybody can do it. I will have links for everything in this video down in the description. If you like this video, please comment, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for your time and until next time.